Man, everybody, this is too big to unbox. It is just too big at three feet long. Check it out. We got a brand new boat for the channel. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. That's right. Oh, I got a boat. Oh, I've been really, I've been eyeballing a new boat for a while. And actually, Traxxas lost a sale. I was actually eyeballing the... Uh, their catamaran. I forget the name of this it. weird name. And then they came out with the new, and I can't think of that name either. Uh, their new boat that's self riding, like this is. This is self riding. Now, this is nothing new. This has actually been out for two or three years. This is the Sonic Wake. This is version two. This is actually made by Horizon Hobby. It's all Spectrum Electronics. So some familiar some familiar stuff there inside here. Uh, but yeah, so Traxxas came out with their new boat, self-riding, and I was like, oh cool. Uh, I might jump on that. But as you know, I bought the Max Slash. And then when I contact customer service one about the poor handling, they told me it was me. I don't know how to drive. I don't know what I'm doing. I should put a smaller battery in because it's way too much vehicle. But yet they didn't have a problem selling me an 8S uh X Max XRT, they don't have a problem selling me the sledge, right? They tell me I can't drive. And then when I contact them about the receiver not work, the um, stability control not working, uh, they had me do ridiculous stuff with the remote, do this reset, even though I tell them that I use this remote on all my cars and it, and it works. You would think the manufacturer would know a very simple look at the ES, at the receiver. A blinking light means it's off. If the light is steady, the stability is on. It would have taken two seconds to fix. Instead, they wanted me to mail my parts in for them to look at. So, I, I don't know. Unless Traxxas comes out with something absolutely spectacular, it's really going to be hard for me to uh, really support them. I mean, I'm probably going to have to buy something because if there's something interesting my viewers want to see, then I'll make the purchase. But the Max Slash is something I really want. I like ground pounding. I like running through the ground. But like Earl Moorhead said, you want to know how to avoid the warranty on a Traxxas? Plug the battery in. And it's kind of true. So this being all Spectrum, Horizon Hobby, guess what? We got a two-year warranty on all these electronics. And wow, look at the size of that motor. Whoa, so it's a uh, 1900 kV. Like it's all liquid cooled. That's something that I saw a lot of people talk about on the tracks. It's had this jacket that stuck to the motor and it kind of wasn't a very good setup. Really haven't seen anybody complain about this. And they still using that setup. It's like they refuse to change anything. Um, so water cooled ESC. This is 6S capable of 50 plus miles an hour so we will test that we'll take it out to the to the river i'm gonna put the gps in here and we will test it out i got my uh my batteries right here i'm gonna use these that way i have the telemetry and i can tell where the battery's at so this does come with the slt3 transmitter which i'm kind of disappointed about i really wish i think it's the five that has the battery indicators up here Something that really come in handy with a boat. Something you should really have. Um, you know, I mean, it does have the 50, 7500. So, I mean, if you have kids, you want them to run it. That's kind of nice. I mean, it's not a bad transmitter at all. I mean, if they, they feel pretty good. They work. But I would really like to see the battery telemetry for a boat. Because, man, you know, you can get yourself out there. And if the battery dies, especially if you're fighting current... Oh, that's going to be a bad day. Really bad day. Man, oh, I'm excited. So, like the uh, tracks, this one, like I said, has been out for a while, but this one is self-riding, which is why you have holes here. There's also some holes back here, so what happens if you flip over, water fills in and it weighs down that side of the boat and causes it to, uh, to flip over. So, so there's your flood chamber right there. Check out the back of this thing. Look at how serious this is. 
Look at this, man. You got your rudder here. You got two water pickups right there. You got your two cooling lines. You got your stabilizers here. And then actually adjustable trim tabs, which I've seen from a couple people where they said this boat rides a little wet. So what happens is like this thing's, when they're down like that, it pushes the nose of the boat into the water. So it's good for choppy water and that gives you stability. If you're having problems, you can adjust that down. But if you want speed and you have good water, raise this up so i'm gonna give it one turn uh there's a really cool channel ironclad rc the dude is hilarious <laughs> he's like yeah man we're gonna do this make it ironclad we're gonna do this make it ironclad <laughs> he he's a trip man if you want to if you want to learn some good info on boats that's your channel i'm pretty sure there might be some other channels out there but man i really enjoy his content man the guy is just he's hilarious i love watching this stuff but I'm going to take his recommendation. We're going to go ahead and pull the shaft out. Uh, they give you shaft grease. So I'm going to go ahead and lube up the shaft. I'm going to bind my DX5 to here so that way I have the telemetry. And um, that should be it. I'm just going to give it a quick go through, make sure all the nuts and bolts are kind of tight. And uh, we're going to take it out, see how fast I can get it to go in the water. Now, you know, boats, it takes, I think, a little bit more work than a car. You know, just run it down the street. You know, you got wind, water conditions, and, and you know, the trim tab and all these other setups. And I'm really new to boating. I only had that one Traxxas, the uh, Blast, which was just a brushed motor on a nickel metal high drive battery. And it was like 20 mile an hour boat. This is supposed to be 50 plus. So this is going to be exciting. Oh man, guys, I can't even tell you excited. I mean, look at look at this thing. It is gorgeous. This thing is gorgeous. It's three feet, man. It's 36 inch boat. Hence the name over here, 36. Woo! And another thing too, guys, you kind of getting a sneak peek at the new layout of the uh, workshop here. I'm still kind of working on it, and I haven't released a video of the work I've done into here, but the boat came in i kind of had to stop because i haven't run an rc in a while and i really want to get out there and i really want to run this thing so uh i'm gonna go ahead get my transmitter bound to this check everything out and we'll see at the water we're gonna do a speed run and just see how it goes but guys oh, tell, tell me what you think what do you think of the boat oh this thing is beautiful so beautiful. This is so much better than the Traxxas one too because it has a stupid little rubber band underneath there. This thing here, yeah. I think even if you flip it at 50, this ain't coming out. This is not going to come out. Huh, they got these extra things in here. I don't even know what they're for. Guess I'll find out sooner or later. they got to be somewhere. Something. So I thought maybe it was this. Oh, look at that piece of foam. Probably to... Uh, Give us some buoyancy if this does happen to fall out. So the only thing you got a sticker, Velcro, and an owner's manual. Like I said, this thing was just too big to try to unbox here on the bench, so I just had to kind of take it out of the box. But can't wait. So I'll see you at the river. RC guy garage GPS holder there strapped to the battery which uh, oh man the foam is right there that's the problem uh, I might just have to sit it in here and hope for the best I really wish I had a waterproof bag uh, so 
hopefully, hopefully it's gonna work. There we go. We got a reading. So like I mentioned earlier, you know, it's, it's gonna take a while. I doubt I'll get 50 on this first run. I got the battery set midpoint. Um, it is pretty calm out here. I guess I probably could uh, move them I believe forward would. Holy moly! Look at that thing go. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh. Wow. Dude, that thing is. You can't even see it when it's like. What is leaving you? Look at it. It looks like it's riding pretty good. Look at this, man. I even got reverse. Oh, that makes it sink pretty quick. Oh, no. Boing. Let's see what kind of speed we got. <gasps> 53! 50. Oh wow! 53 with almost no no setup, man. Man, I like the reverse. My last boat didn't have reverse. But I just want to get the GPS out of here. Because it is not waterproof. Dude, I am happy with that wow this thing sounds freaking wicked <sighs> look at it man the whole everything's drying here really really dry oh this thing is awesome i say that now uh, hopefully nothing happens and i have to go swimming because that's a long whew, I probably should have brought the other boat just in case. But I had no way of I need I need to set up like my other boat. Have it set up as like a recovery somehow. I seen some people set up like a little tugboat with some pool noodles. I really don't want to buy another boat. But if I can use that uh Traxxas one. It does take some, uh, you really need speed to get this thing to turn. And like people said, it turns better to the right than it does the left because it picks up that back end out of the water. Oh wow, I've already almost about killed the battery. Oh, you know, I'm real bad about not showing this. Um, so there's the battery. So there's the battery. Motor's drawing zero amps. Uh, battery info. We got temps 113. Max 127. So... I just really want to pay attention to the battery because I don't want to be out there in it. I can't get it back. Oh, wow. I haven't even really paid attention to how it's riding through the water. Uh, it's, I think it's doing pretty good. Oh, brakes on a boat. That's awesome. Look. Man, I wasn't paying attention. I thought I was going to hit that dock. 
Look. Seems like it's riding pretty good. Yeah, the bow's mostly out of the water. Alright, I should probably bring it back. Batteries. I'm having way too much fun with this. I don't understand. I guess maybe the prop's cavitating because it seems like, you know, it takes off really slow. And then all of a sudden it hits like turbo and friggin' takes off. See, watch. I'll like nail it. And then all of a sudden, whoa, there it goes. I guess maybe it's got to dump all that water out of it from the uh, overflow. The uh, the tip over chamber, I don't know. Damn, look at this thing. Oh, that's freaking awesome. The sound it makes too. <laughs> Oh, there's my low battery. This is why I like this. Oh, guys, all right. Let's uh go back home and I'll give you my final thoughts on the uh, Sonic Wake here. Oh, I had to run to the car, get my thermometer real quick. I didn't think this would be an issue. Uh, so look the motor's at 110 but I want to unplug the batteries look at that 154 55 even the batteries at one why are these connectors so hot that's 93 these were a bit hotter so look at that see if we can look at that 140 on a connector man that is outrageous 140 on the batteries what's the uh so the ESC is even at 130 we had water I saw water coming out of it but wow that that is crazy hot thing is see i brought another battery pack with me a 4s i was just going to run off camera or 6s but not as hot as this is wow wow that's uh that's amazing hmm all right we'll see you back at the bench Boom, here you go, the Sonic Wake. 36 inch v V2 by Horizon, Pro Boat, uh, however you wanna say it. Man, what a fantastic boat, man. I am so thrilled I got this thing, man. It looks beautiful, it sounds amazing. I Man, I'm just grinning from ear to ear. I'm so happy I decided to get another boat because my first boat was just so like, yeah. But, that being said, let me talk about some of the negatives here. Of course, you know, we have the wiring getting really hot. That is concerning, but uh, nothing unsoldered. So I guess the thing wasn't that hot. And I just have to trust that Horizon Hobby knows what they're doing. They they had they have to know that this thing is, those wires are getting that warm. 
uh, and they find it acceptable. I mean, there's really not much you can do unless you go and swap out everything because these wires are in the motor. You can't go bigger without swapping the motor, which then, you know, then you're going to have to swap out the ESC. And I mean, that's just a really expensive proposition to have to go through all that. And I, I really don't want to have to do that. So um, I'll just see how it goes. I mean, if it melts down, I'll give them the warranty, whatever. And uh, I guess then we'll upgrade. But I think it's going to be okay. I mean, I haven't seen any videos people talking about they had problems with these things just melting down. So uh, I mentioned earlier the remote. With this thing being a boat and the fact that they actually have remotes with telemetry with the battery. I would like to see them either add that remote or maybe add the battery telemetry to the, the less expensive remotes. I think that would be great, especially, like I said, for a boat. If that thing's out there and it, it dies, you can't just walk and get it, right? So I think it's important to know where your battery's at on the uh, on the boat. You know, the tracks is going to be in a brushed motor. You could tell it's really started slowing down. You could just tell when you had plenty of time to kind of get it back. You could really sense it was dying and then the only other thing i wish is right here on the back you have this like rubber cap to protect the rudder and the uh, inlets for the hoses i wish this was like orange or red or something bright so when you go sit in the water it would stand out that it's on there more uh you know because it's, it's not like somebody dropped this in the water with the camera on it before they ran it and Noticed it wasn't steering that great and it was making a weird noise. Uh, oh shit. Yeah, I didn't do that. There's no way I would have put this in the water with that cap on there because I know better. <laughs> so, oh yeah, you know, like on, on planes, you have pedo tubes, which are like air pressure tubes that give you your speed and stuff like that. And they'll, they'll, they'll cover because they're very sensitive, but there's a red banner on it, removed before flight. So I kind of wish they would have had that same thought when they made this cap, so that way you can't uh, miss it when you put it in the water. Oh, and I did find that that bag of the nylon bolts and nuts goes back here in the rudder. I imagine what it is, it's a breakaway, so if you do hit the rudder into something in shallow water, that that nut will break saving the rudder it should just make the rudder come up and you probably should still be able to steer it to get it back to yourself if you catch something but other than that oh, I mean you heard it. it sounds amazing it turns really really well uh, like I had saw reviews because the rudder here is offset more to the right so when you make a left hand turn it tends to pick this up out of the water so like left turns are a little bit larger than right turns. So I really didn't feel like it was that much of a problem, but it's just something to know. Um, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of experience with boats. So I really can't tell you like how it ran compared to other boats. Um, but, you know, my videos for the most part, I never say buy a vehicle, don't buy a vehicle. I just kind of let you see how it operates, give you my impressions of it and, you know, make a decision on your own. But out of the box, I was able to bust 50 miles an hour fairly easily. Uh, and I'm really blown away with that because, you know, your battery position, the trim tab position, a lot of that plays into how fast you can get the boat. Because if it's up too high out of the water, it's going to flip. If it's too low, it's pushing in the water. It's, it's dragging. So, and for all I know, I might have I had to get this thing out of the water higher. Maybe that's why the wires got so hot. Maybe it just still was pushing... But no, I actually, after I got done, I did decide to put my 6S pack in here and I pushed it all the way back. And when I was hitting little things, I noticed it was coming up quite a bit, uh, having the battery pushed back. So the, the front end was coming a little bit, but maybe I should run with the batteries a little bit further. You know, it's going to take time to learn and get used to the boats, but I mean, I really don't have... Other than what I pointed out, I don't really have anything bad to say about the thing. It's just, it's gorgeous. It sounds amazing. It was fun. And I was, I'm happy to have it, man. I am so happy. And the size of this thing, man, it's just, it's freaking massive, man. It's gorgeous. I love it. I'm so happy I got this thing. You know, uh, actually, when my friend from England came over, 
Tower Hobbies had these on Scratch and then it was the black version with like the red and orange decals. I really wanted this one, but it was Scratch and it was a good deal. And of course, you know, Tower Hobbies, oh, we're out of stock, oh, we can't send it, and they canceled the sale. And I was pissed off about it. I was almost going to get the Traxxas again, but I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> Even though Tower kind of screwed me up, I still, I'm glad I got this one. I, this is the one I wanted anyhow with the blue and the teal. You guys know I love blue. So this is the one I really wanted anyhow, so I guess it worked out. But man, I am thrilled. I am thrilled, totally happy with this thing, man, the way it performs. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this thing run. Uh, I got some camping trips coming up. I'll definitely be taking this. I think we're near the water. I have to double check the life book, these things. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> but oh, man, uh, I've been I've just been wanting to go and get out on the water again. And I really wanted something that was fast. The other boat was a bit slow. And, and you know. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! And you know, we always, we always itching to go faster and faster and, you know, so, yeah, I'm happy, man. It looks amazing and it's, it's, I like it, man. I couldn't be happier, so. There you have it, man. The Sonic Wake version 2 by Horizon Pro Boat. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below, man. Uh. I really think it's a great boat. It's really cool. It has a self-riding feature. So if it does roll, you don't have to swim. But, ah, oh, man. I am so happy I have this thing. It's freaking so massive. This is oh, it's awesome. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching the support. Check out the links down below. I have your coupon codes for things like neon signs and other discounts. And thank you very much for those of you that use my Amazon store for shopping and that. Helps the channel out. And if you're interested in things like fans, tools, anything that I use for the channel, for the most part, they should be in that store. All right. So thanks for watching the support. See you on the next one.